Sepsis is a general term for what is usually a severe infection that infects one part of the body but then spreads with its effects through multiple parts of the body. Sepsis is very serious. It's a leading cause of mortality. People routinely die of sepsis and it actually has a higher mortality than stroke and heart disease. We saw that there was this national movement called the Surviving Sepsis Program and this was our opportunity to jump in with that kind of a national movement to improve our survivorship for patients with severe sepsis. The first thing we needed to do was write down a protocol and we wanted the protocol to be very easy for anybody to use at any time in the patient's hospitalization. And so the protocol was written such that it could be started either in the emergency department if the patient came in through the ER, it could be started on the telemetry unit or the ICU or the rehab unit, wherever the patient was at the time that they developed sepsis. Our performance improvement chief, Deb Cameron, applied for a Providence program called the ACT Grant and received that grant, allowing us to hire on for part-time activity an emergency department nurse who acted as our sepsis coordinator. My role has basically been to um, move forward the project, whatever it takes. I can observe and talk to people and find out what people do and how they do it and what would make their lives easier, then I can identify where improvements are possible, what, what we can do differently. This is an ongoing perpetual process once you start one of these programs. Our severe sepsis order sheet, which is crucial to this process for quick interventions, using the right antibiotics, managing fluid resuscitations uh, correctly and so on, uh, has gone through about 18 iterations. We've decreased our mortality by approximately 50%. You could statistically say that in the process we saved 61 lives. We've saved a lot of lives and we've improved care. We've shortened length of stay and we have uh, saved a lot of money in the process. The protocol that we wrote is uh, decentralized. It's uh, very simple. Uh, the skill set needed by the emergency doctor, the uh, intensive care unit doctor, as well as the uh, nurses, both the emergency department and ICU, are uh, universal. So there's no reason why this sepsis pathway cannot be championed at, at other hospitals.